Uh, I, or I do anything. I'm gonna use my ability and try to read the creature. Okie dokie. Let me pull that up real quick. Telepathy. Telepathy is what you're talking about, correct? Uh huh. It's empathy. Okay. Let me take a look at the saving throws real quick. Oh yeah, it's a d20. How to describe this? You get a sense of unending hunger. You don't really get any words. Nothing that concrete. But you sense relatively complex thoughts. You're just, they're just not. You, you can't really make ter heads or tails of them. They're confusing to you. Spies but emotion wise, you. you get just like a sense, a desire, a, a heat. A desire stronger than anything you've literally ever felt before of hunger. That's good, then that's not a waste of power. Okay. Uh, and I will I... be a little bit nice because you failed to roll really badly. It's it's directed at the woman in front of you. Okay. Uh, then I wide I as soon as I feel that, I went out and I turned to Vera. Do as he says, run! And start running backward, back towards the ship. So, yeah, running sounds like a good idea. So you turn around and you run. One moment, you get, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's 20, you get 20 meters. Yeah, and that's the thing, this thing uses, it goes in meters, it's a bit confusing, I'm just gonna call it feet. Um, yards? Yards. I don't, I don't know the conversion scales for it. meter anything. is pretty close to a yard. Yeah, a little bit longer. Yeah. But okay. It's, it's pretty much six. It pretty much be sixty feet in the round ish. Yeah, you get about twenty yards. So you get about right here. And that's all you do. I believe that's all you can do. Six seconds long. Which can take a turn doing something. Okay. Yep. Okay, yeah. So that that's your turn. Next up is her. I'll let you handle that, Barry. Uh she's Wait, why is she thirteen? I don't know, that was item. kinda weird. She had some number added to her, but oh well, she's next in line uh -huh. anyways. She shouldn't be. She's actually the same go as the creature. There we go. There we go. So they both go at the same time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, she is running. And she is just yelling at everybody else to run! Yep, running. And that's all she'll do is just move right here. And then it's the creature's turn. 
So, the creature... You see... Wings... Extend out. And it bolts forward. Past all of you ignoring you. And it is going to... Let me get the rules. Okie dokie. It does not succeed. Well, oh, I forgot to factor that in. Yeah, no, that should have been a plus five. Yeah, that's my mistake. Okay, yeah, it grabs her. So when you say tentacle, like how many tentacles are we talking? Like you can't see anything but tentacles and two protrusions that look like wings. So not like a face or anything? No. Okay. <laughs> and then it doesn't really care about you all. But yeah, that's its turn. It doesn't get to do anything yet. So that's Vera's turn. Um, so it's in front of us now? Yeah, I went straight past. It went straight past you guys. So you guys are like right here. And it's like over here with the woman. And Gemini is a little further past it. But you can't see her. Um. You probably can't really see much of the creature either. So. I don't know what to do. grabbing her, I probably can't shoot it, can I? You could try. What are you gonna do? You have 20 meters of movement. It's so like 60 feet. You can get past. You can get past the creature, which you can barely see. Where do you go? Um, trying to chase after Gemma. Okay, so yeah, you get, you catch up with her right about there. Leopold, what do you do? Uh, he's gonna, well, okay, how does the combat work again? Well, I guess never mind, I can't, I, I'm holding my survey scanner anyway. He's gonna keep filming, but he's gonna run past and shout, someone try and shoot the ceiling down on top of it. And that's his turn. I'm gonna be isolated, and you would know that that's probably not gonna work. Okay, never mind then. He won't say that. He'll just be like, "Everyone, just get back to the ship." And making it? making care to make sure that I actually catch this thing on camera. <laughs> You're like that cameraman in every horror film. Yeah, right now it's like Cloverfield. I'm like like T.J. Miller, except not as as dumb. Hopefully. So, Jadig, it's your turn. 
Uh, so everyone has ran past me. So everyone just ran past the creature. Uh, yeah. Should be still behind you. Well, you, you can't see the creature. You can just see the group of people standing there a little bit stunned and, and moving to act. And a couple of them ran the same direction it, toward as the creature. But you're like right here. And they're like right here. Yeah, I just run to catch up with everyone. Yeah, you can get up to where Mina is, but you can't get any farther than that. Okay. So, you, you're gonna go just a little bit before the creature? Yeah, I go to where everyone else is. There's like two people here, and two people further on past the creature. No, there's three, all, three of us are over there. And only Trubio. Oh yeah, there. yeah. Trubio is the only one who hasn't gone yet. Okay, so yeah, you go up. You can't get to everyone. You can just you can just get to where the creature is. That's the furthest you can get. Is right on literally the same sc space it's occupying. Okay, well that doesn't sound very smart. But my only other option would be to run the opposite direction, which also seems like a bad idea, so I guess I'll just do that. So you run the opposite direction or just towards it? I just run towards the group as far as I can make it. Okay. And that's all you do? You just run? I guess I'll just yell, Don't face time trying to shoot it. It won't have any effect. Okay, so uh, it's your turn, Trivio. I follow the uphold. Okay. Check my night. I'm continuing to run for the ship. I keep checking, though, to make sure Barrow's behind me. Okay. Why is it. <laughs> it changed the number again. Yeah, yeah sure. it keeps doing that. I don't know why. It's like it's adding its own number to itself every turn. It's weird. Anyways. Is there any rule for when they get the same number? Oh, anyway? wait. I wrote that wrong again. But it doesn't matter because it's not the same. So, is there any rule for what? When you get a tied initiative. Um, they both go at the same time. And... That is when you see... If anyone is actually looking at the creature. I mean, Leo's still trying to film it kind of behind him, but I'm not sure he's actually looking at it. Ooh, yeah, that's bad. You see it. You see a lot of the tentacles shift by, and as Mina screams, you just see her disappear into it. And then you hear loud crunching. Uh. Uh. Everyone make a luck save. Um. group yep so now I know now I know what is happening okay is this, is this the is this the death order that we just ruled for <laughs> no no not technically but uh yeah so all right it is your turn I need Okay, you get into the hallway, the bloodied hallway of the outpost. 
you get up the stairs and just into the end of the hallway. Or actually, you get part way down there. You're you're almost out onto the landing pad. Leopold, it's your turn. Yeah, I'll be running and I'll turn to this mysterious person. Like, we have a ship. We can get out of here. Wait, so um, I'm with everyone else now? I thought I was behind everyone. You were, but... I mean, you're, you're... But he could yell that as he runs. Oh, okay. Because you're in the same room, and you're within your shot. So if he yells that at you... Yeah, he's gonna, yeah, he's yelling that. So I can see the exit of the place, of the runes? You, you can see where they're all running. Okay. So you just run Leopold, right? Oh yeah, yeah. He's 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 just running. Yeah, okay, JD. Okay, I run. Good job, after. Barry. I run after them, and I yell, "You all know where the exit is?" Well, we're kind of already down the hallway quite a ways, I'd imagine. But just if I can't fall twice, it. I'm yelling. Okay, next is Turbio's turn. Are you just are you just full out running, or are you looking back to the creature once in a while? John, what? Are you just full out running, or are you looking back to the creature once in a while as you run? No, no, I'm just running. Okay, yeah. Uh, and you make it to where Vera is. And now it is Gemini's turn. I assume running as well. Yep, I'm still running. Okay. So let's see you get you get to where Barra is too. Delete that one from the turn order. Ouch. And the creature seeing that it can't really or noticing that it can't really fly in a straight line that way it, it will just like slide along and pull itself along the floor arriving mass of tentacles towards the entrance and like you feel that it should have rubbed up against you Jade here let me see yeah so it gets it gets like through halfway through the hallway and as it goes past you guys like you could have sworn that it would those tentacles would have smacked you but they don't it looked like they they should have smacked into you but they just go through you go through who and where is it now because i thought we were all the way like into the other place oh yeah no you're all you're all still on this map so now i need to Shift maps. Yeah, first time dungeon. <laughs> yeah, no. So, uh, you see it just like come out. You, you can see like a tendril or through or two through the windows in the hallway. And yeah, that's but we're out it. on the we're, we're out on the landing pad area, like here. Or yeah, no, you guys have gotten like about here. Okay, so we can kind of see it rounding the corner. Yeah, you can see it from the windows, like right here. You can see look down the hall and see it like most of the way down the hall. Wait, so there are are there two exits to this place? We didn't go in the way that yes. I came in. Okay. No. 
So, yeah. And you Wait, guys, so we, we still... see it. So we see it from the windows, but we're in the hallway. I'm confused. You're in the hallway. There's windows along both sides of the hallway. Yeah, but I thought it was inside the hallway. It's inside this hallway. Oh, so we can see it through. Okay, so it's like a diagonal sort of through the windows. We can see it coming. You can see through the windows and into the doorway. Okay. Or the passageway right okay. there. Okay. And so I assume. Who? What? Harry? What'd you do? Uh, if you go back to the dungeon, I popped a token down for you to use for the crater. Uh, well, no, the turn order thing just disappeared. It's back now. That one I yeah, got no I brought clue about. I brought it back. I was just like, what did you do, Barry? <laughs> Thankfully, what did I everything do? is on the turn order. <laughs> so, um, so I'm just assuming everyone is straight up running. Yeah. For the ship. So I'm going to skip ahead like a turn, and you guys all get about here, except for Leopold who's trailing behind a little bit, and you get Me? about there. <laughs> or not Leopold, but names, names. Yeah, I was like, what? Okay. <laughs> I was yeah, like, no. what now? Yeah, I'm just... <laughs> don't put me last. <laughs> yeah, I switched you out, I, I don't, I want him to be the new captain. <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> and you see the creature just like pulling itself out of the opening right here and unfurling its wings and it gets about here it's going for the ship run And assuming you're all making the same actions, you can you get onto the ship. And that is where we are at. Straight for the bridge. Getting onto the computer. Leopold's closing the door. I yell for Vara to start plotting a course. Okay, as you guys close the door. A second or two later, you hear a thump, and I, mean, I don't even have to roll it hits. That'd be silly. Okay, so you hear, you hear scraping against the hull at the like, door. At the door? Um, yeah. You hear buckling. Somebody, somebody find that thing that we're gonna try and bait it with. Uh, Torbjörn's the last one who had that. I go get it. I hand it to him. Um, is there another way to, like, exit, like, to, is there another exit to the ship, like a this airlock or something? Uh, you can open up the cargo bay. So it's a different ramp. So it's a, is it a different ramp or is it the same ramp? There's only one ramp. So there's not like an, a, a, another exit at all. There, there's there's the exit that you can use to uh, dock with other ships. Yeah, and, no, yeah. And okay. then there's the cargo bay door. Yeah, I don't want to open the cargo bay door because the thing's out there. So I'm gonna turn turn. Can I turn on the thing and go to the other en entrance? I mean, Does the cargo bay door have windows? Can we see the creature, or we're just sitting here? here, here. There, there's some windows along, but I, but it's Vera's turn, so Vera, what do you do? Uh, uh, can I get us out of here, or? You are a pilot. You can go uh, for the. Uh, I'm a navigator. Not quite the same thing. Oh, you don't have the pilot skill. No, no, yeah, only Leo has that. <laughs> so, Shreve, it looks like you get to have the power thing. It'll be great. I do what? Throw the power yeah, thing, to the bait thing as a diversion, potentially. 
Well, there, there's okay. two. There's two ways off the ship: the cargo bay doors and the door that the thing's at. Wait, what? Can't you just open the cargo bay door a little bit? Oh, I thought you, yeah. I thought that the cargo bay door was the same. That's I asked, I asked if it was the no, same that's entrance, the ramp. and you said it was. You said it was Which the same. Which door is the So wait, we came at? in via the the door that we used to dock with other ships. Yeah, now I'm really yeah. confused. That that's that's the main way in and out of the ship there, main airlock. Okay. Yeah, but then the cargo bay door is a separate thing. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. down at the rear of the ship. Okay, well then Leo yeah, never mind. Leo wouldn't have gone there. He probably would have just yelled at something to find it and cause a distraction while he runs for the bridge. Okay. Vera, so, uh, would you I'm... go for the guns? What? Well, what are you gonna do? Um. I don't know, can the ship's guns even uh, aim at where this thing is? So close to the ship? Try and get into it? The, uh, sand, sand blaster probably could. Sand or. I guess I'll try to do that. <laughs> yeah, okay, you can get up there Can't and the... try and fire around. Can't the tokens of the characters just be created based on the avatar of the on the character sheet? Or do people not put their she avatars? Doesn't have on the a, she doesn't have an avatar yet. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, you have projectile weapons, or wait, you don't have gunnery, gunnery is all you need, so you're going to be rolling at an AC, or at an AC of plus, plus four plus your dexterity modifier. What, what am I even rolling? Where am I hitting the button? Just roll a d20. What? Type slash r space 1d20. That's the easiest way. Plus... Yeah, that should be it. So it should be about plus 5 if you have anything in dexterity. So, you hit it with a ship grade weapon. You think? Still seems to be out there. It's Jadik's turn. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Do Leopold, I make... you've already done your things. Vera was supposed to go, but we were doing your turn at basically the same time because. She was taking her time figuring out what was going on. So it's Jadig's turn now. Okay, I guess I just stand in the ship and uh, with all the people I don't know that I just kindly welcomed me onto their ship. <laughs> and I just yell, go, go, go! Okay, Terribio. I go to the cargo door and I open it and I throw the thing out and then I close the cargo door. Yeah, after you press the button and stuff. Okay, that's your movement and action. So now it's Gemini's turn. What can I do to get the ship prepped and ready to go? Okay. And you guys There's... left it on, so on the upholds turn, you guys are going to take off, basically, assuming he doesn't. Can I get it off the ground though? So that he just hop in. No. There's one pilot. And he's in the pilot seat right now. Okay, then I guess I do nothing. What are the sensors saying? <laughs> nothing re really of note. Hey, they're not built to sense small creatures. They're, they're meant to sense stuff to you with spike drives and 
spaceships mostly. Nothing. Get us out of here. I'm working on it. You hear more scratching. And then Vera's turn. Fire again. Did it seem to do anything? No, you see, you still see it there. There's some dent, dents and dings on the hull from the sandblaster. No actual problematic damage, but it's scuffed. And that's about the only effect aside from, you know, you probably blew a hole in some of those buildings or a lot of holes. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Does anyone know what this thing is? Nothing seems to hurt it. You hear it come down from one of the turret stations. What? Your voice comes down from the turret stations. Ah. Th think Millennium Falcon turret. Man turret. Hey, stranger, you got any ideas? Sue me. You don't do anything, Vera. It's Leopold's turn. Okay, okay. Well, I'm taking off and heading to space as quickly as possible. <laughs> okay. Well, that's the end of that. You lift off and you hear the scratching for a while. But eventually, you assume it gets torn off and by the by the wind and the speed of the ship. Assume. I yeah. assume nothing about something that get not injured by lasers at all, or <laughs> shotguns, <laughs> or giant space shotguns. <laughs> Well, you don't see it anymore. Anyone who has camera view of the entrance. I'm on the sensors, so I probably would, right? I mean, it's a, it's a human-ish sized creature. That doesn't show up on sensors. It's too small. I know, but the sense, I assume the sensors and the cameras are kind of one station, right? Yeah. And you get From to orbit. where I am in the turret, can I see it and see it fall off, maybe? I mean, GM, no, we're out of initiative. And, I mean, yeah, you probably, you see it disappear, you're not sure if it fell off or not, it probably did, but the ship's blocking it as far as being able to see it. Get us out into space. Maybe vacuum will be enough to get rid of it. Yeah, he, yeah, he's going there. He's going to space. I follow uh, people into the bridge or the cockpit or whatever of the ship. And as you arrive on the bridge, as people are trying to find evidence of what happened to the creatures, I think that's where we'll take a break. Oh boy. I wanted to explore and get artifacts and stuff. <laughs> or at least Farrah right did. Now.